Next question says, um, I'm wondering if um, there needs to be any modification to my training due to the other training that I'm doing in other sports. Uh, I'll be doing two sprinting sessions a week and one hammer throw session a week uh, with my university team. The sprint sessions are mostly mobility and technique drills. However, I've heard that they can be quite taxing on the days where we're sprinting. And uh, the hammer throw session uh, tires out my shoulders and upper back. I plan on not doing any athletics for two weeks leading up to my competition. Um, so strictly speaking, I don't think that you automatically need to make any modifications to your training. Uh, let's say that you added this uh, additional work in and saw no real negative effects. Uh, then carry on. Um, I, it's contingent on your recovery. And you can monitor your recovery using track. Uh, and I would definitely recommend that you do that. Now, if your track scores, uh, especially looking at the long-term training fatigue, uh, long-term training, uh, long-term fatigue load, sorry. Um, if you're getting up into those, uh, orange and red areas, then, you know, we would want to make some adjustments then. And it would probably, uh, you know, from the sound of it, it's going to be drawing back the total volume of the powerlifting work that you're doing. Um, that would be the main concern, uh, is just overall workload. Is the overall workload too high? And we can monitor that with track, but unfortunately we don't know yet because we don't really know what your, we can't see in advance what your work capacity will tolerate. Uh, we have to, you know, get in there, try it out and see, uh, and we'll, we'll be able to tell. It won't take long, you know, in, I would say in a few weeks, a couple weeks, uh, you'll be able to see a pattern here, like your fatigue level is rising or your fatigue level seems to be holding steady just fine. Um, yeah, it shouldn't take long for us to figure that out. The other component that you should think about is your overall training template. Um, obviously sprint work is going to be more taxing on your legs. Um, the hammer throw you mentioned being taxing on your shoulders and upper back. Um, you'll want to move around your training days so that the most important leg workouts happen when your legs are, are recovered. And the most important bench workouts happen when your shoulders and arms are recovered. Now you can swap, uh, you can shift the training days around and guided programming is designed to do that. Uh, that's how the whole priority system works. And we've done videos in the past on that. Um, now, if that's not enough granularity for you, because I don't know what days um, uh, each of your additional workouts are, are happening on, it could be that there are no good options in terms of just straight swapping around training days. Uh, what might what you might need to do then is uh, swap uh, some of the training slots. So let's say that you've got a day that's going to be a good day for lower body training not necessarily a good day for your upper body training and the workout that you want to do uh, contains your high priority squat but it also contains a high priority bench well what you can do then is you can swap that bench out with something else uh, swap that bench out with a, a different bench slot that should happen at some other time during the week um, the idea is that you want to do the most important work uh, when your abilities are the best, uh, when you're the most recovered, your ability to perform is the highest. So shift those things around as needed. As long as you're getting the work in uh, during the course of the week and as long as you're recovering, that's fine. And that's how uh, we want the system to function. So definitely shift those things around if you need to. It's not like it's not really rocket science. If you look at the training days, uh, what comes before them, what comes after them, just ask yourself, like, how tired do I get after this workout? How long is that going to affect me? You know, and try to answer that as reasonably as you can. Put the days on the best options that you have and move forward from there. I think you'll be just fine.